Hey, it's Jay from Bug Spray with my tip of the day. The goal of this video is to summarize how four product types work around and inside your home. First, let's talk about outside treatments. For some reason, many customers believe applying granules around their home will protect it from all insects. Though granules will affect soil dwelling pests, they'll rarely solve a pest problem when used alone. Granules release slowly and work their way down into the soil. They do not kill quickly and more importantly, they're not going to affect crawling pests that are moving on cement, plants, and the sides of your home. And for obvious reasons, they don't impact flying pests. Granules are best used for long-term preventive applications. That being said, they should be used on a regular basis at least three times a year, if not more, if you have ongoing pest issues. The second treatment for outside the home, which is by far the most effective for crawling pest problems, is to liquid spray the grass, mulch, flower beds, as well as the home siding. So using a product like Maxthor or Prothor or Bythor as a surface spray is almost always needed and is considered essential to solving most any pest problem. Think of the treatment as acting like a shell around the home and plan on spraying from the gutters down to the base of the foundation. This will require a lot of water and why we recommend a hose and sprayer for most all treatments. In general, one to two gallons will be needed for each side of the home based on the size of the structure. For pests inside, the same two-prong approach applies, but instead of using granules for deep penetration, you'll need our FSMP aerosol. FSMP applied on the baseboards, around windows, doors, and other routes of entry will both kill insects nesting as well as prevent them from entering. FSMP is highly repellent and deep penetrating since it's oil-based but only use it in cracks and crevices, not as a surface spray. For small pests like springtails and clover mites, FSMP is the single most important product needed to reach their deep pocketed nests. For all surfaces, a non-repellent water-based spray like Bythor is ideal, especially when applied with our mini mister. Bythor is odorless, non-staining, safe for use on baseboards, carpeting, and even furniture. Target pests will readily walk over the treatment without knowing it's there, making it ideal for random insect activity. Once they return to their nests, they'll share the treatment with others, and within a few days, all affected members of the colony will be dead. In summary, large pests like palmetto bugs, millipedes, and ants can all be controlled and prevented by regular treatments done outside the home using our liquid and granular products. But once they're inside the home, it's imperative to focus on where you're seeing activity and to be prepared to treat as soon as they reappear. This is especially true for the smaller pests like springtails or clover mites who thrive behind a home's exterior siding. Once you start spraying the siding, they'll be forced to migrate out, and this means more will be seen inside. Directly treating their routes of entry will end the invasion, but once your treatment dries, it loses the ability to work as a contact killer. This means it's not uncommon to see pests the day after you spray. If this is happening, treat again, focusing on the area where you see them active. Eventually, you'll reach their entry points and end the invasion, but be forewarned. This process can take weeks to run its course. Ultimately, you may have to dust the siding on your home if you have vinyl, aluminum, or wood shakes. These designs, more than any other, afford insect pests ample protection, food, and shelter from our sprays. If you have pests living behind any type of siding, visit bugspray.com slash siding for more information on what to do. I'm Jay, and that's my tip of the day.